You know, they always say the best camera is the one that you have with you. And as a lot of us have smartphones now, we kind of have like a professional film camera literally in our pocket. This one, the iPhone XS can shoot at 4K 60. Like, that's pretty amazing. And it's super easy for us to just pull out our phone and grab some quick clips and get an amazing shot. And these also have digital stabilization in them, but sometimes that's just not enough. That's why today we're gonna have a quick look at the Xuan Smooth Q2. This was sent to me by a company called Pergear. Pergear is an online store that offers a lot of photography and filmmaking equipment like lights, lenses, and uh, gimbals, etc. So big shout out to Pergear for sending us the gear. Again, this isn't a fully sponsored video, but they did send this to me to check out and review. So I'm gonna be free to give you my honest and complete opinions. Let's see what's inside the box. As a smartphone gimbal goes, these are uh, pretty simple usually. Documentation, he's got documentation. Inside we've got the gimbal itself, pretty small. The phone holder accessory box with a little tether and a USB-C charging cable. They did also send me this little stand that, you know, with most gimbals, you, you see these pretty often now, you can screw into the bottom and that allows you to actually, you know, keep it on and then you can set it down. This thing's so light and small, I couldn't ever see getting tired of holding it. It's it's tiny, like it's beautiful. It's a little, it's just a little guy. So it goes like this. The phone holder actually slides right into the gimbal and then you lock it in with a little lever. The biggest question with these phone gimbals is like, how strong are the motors? The bigger phones, they definitely weigh a lot and sometimes they can be top heavy to one side, kind of like it would, it would dip a little bit. And you don't want that. You want this to be super strong, steady, smooth, yeah. Okay, it's pretty much ready to go. All you gotta do is put your phone in and I mean, I, I guess you could take the time and balance it, but I really wanna see what happens when we power it up and it's not balanced just to see how strong the motors are. Now there's just a couple buttons here. We've got a joystick or a multi-selection joystick. We've got a record button and the power button. So let's just see what happens here. Wow, the balance doesn't seem to be an issue at all. The thing about gimbals, I, I remember getting my first gimbal, I was super excited and I would hand it to my friend and be like, check this out, this is super cool. People try and trick it. Like, I hate that when people try and like trick your gimbal and they like knock it around and everything. It's just me. Okay, so the modes are as follows. You have PF, which is pan follow mode. So it'll follow panning, but it won't change the pitch of the camera. We've got locking mode, and all you have to do to change the mode is just press the joystick in one time. Locking mode is like, it stays where it is. It's locked, as, as you would expect. So follow mode is to tilt up, down, it'll pan, it'll, it'll follow you. POV mode, this will let us do some vertigo stuff. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, that's cool. And the next one is vortex mode. Essentially that barrel roll effect, you just take the joystick and spin it. If you wanna shoot in like portrait mode, all you have to do is tip it into portrait. It knows what you're up to. And then go back. That's dope. I did not take the time to balance my phone on here and it does not seem to have a problem with it. Oh, we're upside down. Oh, we're confused. Not bad. It's super responsive. So a single click progresses you forward through the menus and a double click takes you back. There is an app, it's called the ZY Play app. So you can download the ZY Play app, which I think would allow some further functionality. So let's go ahead and do that. Hmm. That was easy. Now that we're using the app, it's gonna be super easy for us to just hit record and we're taking a photo or video. One of the reasons that you'd want to download the app is because it's gonna unlock the ability for you to do the time lapses. So with the time lapse, you can do some really cool things using a gimbal to get time lapses. First of all, 
the bottom of the gimbal has a quarter 20 mount. So you can take this and pop it right on your tripod and set this up wherever you want, in the city, do a landscape, whatever you want. Put it on a tripod and then you're gonna mess with these settings. Once you get it into motion time-lapse, you pick a point, you hit a plus sign, and then you move the camera using the joystick. Let's say we're gonna do something really cool, just two moves, and then we'll hit next. Do it for two seconds, shutter speed will be automatic, and we'll make it for one minute long. You hit start, and then the camera does the rest. The gimbal's gonna move it from that pre predetermined point A to point B, very slowly and smooth, and it's gonna get your motion time lapse, and it's gonna look so sick. Something to keep in mind with, with a gimbal like this, especially when we're starting to see smartphones come out that have super wide angle lenses. I don't have that super wide angle, so I'm not seeing this motor in the frame. You will begin to see this motor if you have the iPhone 11, but that shouldn't deter you from getting this particular gimbal because if you hold it in flashlight mode like this, you should be able to get a clear view because you know the gimbal is well out of the way in this mode, or you can just hold it a little bit down like this. I think it would still work for you. Um, just if you're holding it straight up like this, you're gonna get that motor in the frame. Overall, I think this is a fantastic little phone gimbal. If not only for the fact that you can literally fit it in your pocket, it's tiny. Do you think I was one of those guys who walked around with those little phone holsters? You know the ones, right? It's my phone holster. It does charge using USB-C, so you don't ever have to take the battery out, but the battery inside this thing is a gigantic 4,500 milliamp hour, 3.6 volt chunk of battery. I like it, it's nice. It's got a nice soft rubber grip. The controls work. I mean, it's solid and it's small. Like that's the most important thing. I think as a filmmaker, a lot of us are trying to condense as much of our gear into one bag as we possibly can. It's super nice to have something so small, you can just throw it in your bag, it takes up zero space, and put your phone on it and get a bunch of cinematic shots. Like, big shout out to Pergear for sending this over to uh, you know have me check it out. I think it's a solid product. You guys can check out the page. Link will be in the description. Don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe with notifications on, and that's been it for the Smooth Q2. We'll see you in the next one. I love giving back to you guys, and as I promised in the last video, the winner of the Zeppin Micro 2 is Grenade Gaming. Big shout out, man. I hope your nephew goes far in filmmaking. Hit me up in the Twitter DMs or a comment down below, and we'll get you that slider. Get subscribed with notifications on so you're aware of giveaways in the future.